Hey YouTube, this is Backcountry Outdoors and today we're going to paint a little bitty 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 crankbait that I like to use in the creeks that I fish around here and we're going to do a kind of a brim pattern on this thing a real simple and easy one uh, we're going to use a stencil that uh, I made from tracing the bait and just using an X-Acto knife that's how we're going to get our lines downing uh, we're going to use some detailed moss green, Createx detailed moss green, some transparent blue, transparent black, opaque white. I've already got the white loaded up, so we're going to get a base coat on him and see how he turns out. And we're going to be spraying something a little special through our airbrush today. We're going to spray some ink. This is orange. This is Dr. P.H. Martin's uh, Bombay ink, Indian ink. And I love to spray this stuff because it's thin. You ain't got to thin it out. You've not got to do nothing to it. You can put it straight in the airbrush most of the times and spray. And we're going to use it to spray along the belly side of our little sunfish here. We got a white loaded up and we're going to start spraying. All right, we got our detailed moss green up and loaded up, and we're going to spray right down the back side of this bait. And we're going to come down just about middle line on both sides. Paint another one that I get really detailed with, and that's a little bit more difficult. I'm trying to give y'all some easy, easy ones to paint up. But I do one that I add gold to, and I add a lot of colors to it, and it turns out. I mean, that looks really good. But this is just a simple one to get you started. I'd say you can get real crazy with these bluegill patterns. Uh, I use, if, if I had to buy <clears throat> just a few colors to get started with, detailed moss green would be definitely be one of the colors I buy because you can, you I use it in uh, different crappie patterns. I use it in my bluegill patterns, my baby bass patterns. Uh, sometimes I even throw a little bit a light shading because it's darker you go with it and the lighter you can go with it and you can do all kind of different patterns with this detail moss green i really really enjoy that color and a lot of my baits i use it in my crawl some of my crawfish patterns uh it does a really good job and be one of my base colors that i would have to have if i was just starting out would be detail moss green all right, we're going to get this uh, Indian ink loaded up in one of the airbrushes, and we're going to spray the bottom side of the belly right here, and then we'll throw a stencil on it and throw some black on it and blacken it up a little bit. All right, we got the orange loaded up in our PS771, uh, the Creos, and we're going to spray the bottom side of this bait. And the only thing about this, these Indian inks, a lot of times they're real thin, and you will have to put coats on there. Uh -huh. Sometimes you don't. Mm -hmm. Depending on the colors you spray in. This orange usually though, 
it uh, coat out pretty good in one coat. You don't have to come back. And definitely one coat's gonna do this. Definitely one coat. Got us a little bit of the transparent blue in the GSI Creos. And we're going to put just a little bit on the gill plate. And we don't care if we get it in the eye socket because we're going to take some black and darken her up. Alright, we'll get some black loaded up and we'll finish this bait out. Alright, we got our black and we're going to put our little lines on here. And remember, this blue, you can barely see it. Probably can't even see it on camera, but once we dip it in that KBS, that blue is going to pop out. Uh, you ain't got to cake the paint on there. When you dip it, those paints are going to pop, I promise. So we're going to get our little stencil here. We're going to come just behind that gill plate. And we're not going to get the black real dark. Just a white coat. We'll get a little flat pattern right there. I'm going to flip it over. Put the airbrush down. Get it flipped over. And be careful with your stencils because if you have, if the paint is not dried, you will smear your lure. You will smear your lure. And <clears throat> so you just flip it over and you've already painted on this side and you're going to reverse it to get that pattern on this side and you're going to come like you did just behind the gill plate light black get you some black lines in there it turned out pretty good just a little stencil cut with an exacto knife and a little drawing now we're going to take this black and we're just going to spray some darken up the back a little bit face pretty dark and kind of get that blue eye in it and especially when it's in that KBS this is going to come out really really good we'll get it dipped and show you what it looks like All right, we got some uh, red eyes put on him, and we're about to dunk him in some KBS, and we'll see how those colors turn out. In he goes.
Cute little egg. Granchy, come spring and summer, I'll be catching some red eye bass with this little joker in the creeks around here in Georgia. Some Tallapoosa bass, which is we only have here in the Tallapoosa River, nowhere else in the world, supposedly. And this little guy right here will catch a few of them. Uh, if you like our channel, you like what we're doing, please just subscribe and follow us. Hit that little bell button. That way you know when we're making videos. And keep watching us. I appreciate all you do for us. Thanks. Backcountry out.